What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Jeremy Wormy. And I got an interesting little bit of uh, Doctor Who uh, news and everything like that to go through with you guys. Because not only has the show been panned by audiences around the board, this uh, number continues to go down. It was at one point at 48, 46, and now it's at 44%. Not only did the return of all the doctor and this whole uh, three special basically get panned by overnight views when areas uh, basically watching the whole viewership just drop off a cliff in overnight viewership from starting at 5.8 million going all the way down to 4.62 million. And uh, we still got that x men special coming out next week. Oh God, you know, that's going to be fun. We also have uh, interesting tidbits from Russell T. Davies from the past, even where he's come out and said straight actors should not play gay characters. You have this whole thing right here from Shudi Gatwa, where he outright says that they're going to be addressing his uh, the fact that his character is black, by the way, in a whole episode. And they're going to have an episode based on his very leftist liberal bubble because to quote him yet again, and I'll even scroll all the way down here to show you his exact quotes. Thank you very much. Uh, the doctor has always walked into unknown situations and taken charge with authority, explained the Netflix sexual education actor. Historically, there's only really one demographic of people that are able to do that, and it's clearly... It, it, it's clearly not a woman and it's certainly not some black someone black uh you just gotta love uh, their endless hypocrisy their endless ways of doing things now we have a new rumor and yes this is a rumor this is a reddit rumor so take it with a grain of salt take it with a huge grain of salt this is not definitive and this does not mean that this is actually going to happen but with the continuation of everything that we've been seeing the acknowledgement that they're going to be doing leftist liberal bubbles and everything like that uh rtd the whole fact that the star beast was basically just a trans allegory we now have this little rumor rumor the doctor to be involved in dis disordered gay relationship with ruby sunday's boyfriend and upcoming doctor who episodes that's right according to this rumor the new doctor, played by Shuri Gatwa, uh, who will be known as Dr. Rail from now on, uh, you know. Uh, anyways, uh, he, he uh, he's going to be basically going to take away from Ruby, her boyfriend, and, you know, doing his whole thing. Now it's a rumor. Okay, it's a whole rumor, but we'll go through this rumor as uh, we, we probably should because there's other interesting tidbits that they are going to be introducing in this. Posted over a year ago to the Doctor Who subreddit and recently resurfaced on the Gallifreyan subreddit, user no elevator 9376 detailed the companion Ruby Sunday will have a boyfriend who romantically falls for the Doctor gradually over the next two seasons. The user continued, it's planned that the doctor only reciprocates through flirting for now, but it may develop further if received well. Oh, oh, it may develop further and everything, you know, flirting with the boyfriend of your companion. Man, that uh, Ruby one, if this goes anywhere, uh, you really should have, you know, picked a better boyfriend Two, How does that l let's say this? This is real. How does that say to gay people? In all honesty, that uh, they can't be around straight people's boyfriends. They can't be around their friends' boyfriends or anything. That's what that ends up telling me because they're going to inevitably have their boyfriend go gay. That They're going to be uh, going after your, be your friends or your female friends' boyfriends from now on. That's what that's showing. That's kind of uh, discriminatory in my opinion, but let's continue on, shall we? The leaker goes on to claim that the reason for this gay romance is because Russell T. Davies wants to avoid the classic female companion falling for the doctor whilst the boyfriend gets pushed aside. He still wants a love interest to keep an element of romantic drama, though. Why don't just not do that? Why, why do we have to do that? Why do we have to deal with this? Well, uh, before the 2005 uh, reboot, uh, this whole little dynamic wasn't actually a real thing. So why do we have to do it at all? Oh, because you kind of want to have that uh, whole romanticism and everything. But because Shudigat was gay, naturally, and to your whole point of you don't want gay characters, uh, not straight characters not to play gay guys, you now want to continue on and you want to have Shudigatwa steal away a straight man from a woman? 
Is that what I'm getting at with this? That's not very progressive. That's actually kind of dehumanizing and also very bigoted, in my opinion. That's that's very homophobic in several regards. I don't think this will be uh, taken very well. Uh, furthermore, the leaker asserts, Dizzy see this being controversial as the romantic doctor plotline has been used a lot. Eh. It has been used a lot. It's been used over and over again. That's why we don't really need it. Uh, we kind of had that all work out with uh, regards to David Tennant and Rose and then David Tennant and Martha, uh, Christopher Eccleston and Rose. But for the most part, it kind of it, it should have really ended with uh, David Tennant and Rose. I get it. I love the Matt Smith era, but it was kind of icky watching uh, Amy Pond uh, fond over the whole uh, Matt Smith's doctor while she was engaged and about to get married i i do have to point that out so that that was a little weird but why do we need this love story at all we we don't oh because all the other ones have had love stories for crying out loud jody whitaker's had a love story with yes and they ended it with them kissing they they got a big kiss so now we need to have shooty gatwa steal a straight woman's boyfriend that makes sense you, do you think of all the drama and chaos that that's going to show? You think that this is a good idea? Granted, it's a leak. Okay, we got to stick on there. It's a leak. But there's more to this that make me think that this could possibly be a reality. Because you scroll down here. On top of the leaker claiming Shudi Gatwa's doctor personality is hoped to be similar to Captain Jack Harkness's in terms of being flirty and fun, but with a side of sternness and anger as to not become a caricature. caricature. But Harkness was flirty and fun and stern when he needed to be. He was serious when he needed to be. So why do we need to replace him? Oh, because of the whole drama around the actual uh, actor that played uh, Captain Jack Harkness. We can't have him back because he's canceled, mind you, because of uh, rumors and things that happen behind the scenes of him exposing himself, even though he's a gay man. And he was always like fun and enjoyable. Well, but he has to be me too and kicked out of the industry. We can't have him around here. We can't have him engage in all this, but uh, he was a fan favorite. He was an awesome guy. So let, why don't we just make shooty got what captain Jack Hartness? Why don't we just do that? Huh? Is that a smart idea? No, it's not. It's actually a very stupid idea. And it further dehumanizes the doctor and makes the doctor less of an enjoyable character. You you have the this is not a fun thing to do. This is actually very, very messed up and very weird. And it's not because the doctor is gay. One, I, I don't give a crap about that. What I'm trying to say though here, it, one, the doctor isn't gay. Let's be real. The doctor's not gay. The doctor has a granddaughter. The doctor has canonically been a straight individual. You can go on and say, oh, but the doctor said he had a crush on the master. The doctor said he had a crush on the master. Uh, no, he actually said that he loved the master like a brother and everything. They have uh, reaches going all the way back to back when they were on Gallifrey, what have you. Uh, it is th th That's the reality. The doctor is canonically a straight white man. That, that is the truth. You can play around with the racial dynamic, but ultimately what that needs to end up being is essentially, hey, I'm black now. That's all you got to do. There's nothing more you need to do there. But now you're going to further change the doctor at a fundamental level by saying he's gay because you have to have this whole gay agenda within everything in which... Uh, we have to have this amount of representation, this amount of representation, this amount of representation. It doesn't work. You're now further changing the doctor and further changing the doctor's canonical uh, whole identity just to fit into this little weird bubble that is not going to work, by the way, considering both The Verge and Polygon have come out and said the show isn't woke enough. When you start up trying to appease these people for political reasons, box checking reasons and everything... They will never be appeased. They will always find an issue with it. And they're probably going to find an issue in, th in this regard if it actually becomes true. Because the whole point is that it's a gay guy stealing a, wo a man away from a woman. That That is not a very uplifting message. And that's not a good message to send outright. Okay. Furthermore, and this goes into a different direction here. Furthermore, the leaker claims one of the many storylines for the show will center around him regenerating into an evil version of himself called the Valyard. This is hinted at throughout season one with flashbacks to previous doctors warning Shooty of his future. Specifically, the scooper states the final season, the finale of season one is a story about a small group of Dalek survivors that intend to take over the world set in 1940s America. Why in America? Why? It is revealed that the rest of the Daleks were destroyed by the doctor in the future. Oh, oh wait, but 
all the doctors Daleks were already destroyed by the doctor at one point. Okay, just reuse other lines. And also, if it's 1940s America, this is really just going all the way back and redoing the whole uh, Dalek take Manhattan storyline. So again, this is a rumor. But after the giggle, that actually makes sense, considering Russell T. Davies just completely recre uh, recreated the uh, uh, the, the for, for drums and also uh, the Utopia and all that stuff at the end of season two. So <clears throat> that makes sense. Finally, the scooper relays it's intended that the Doctor will regenerate into the Valyard midway through season three with a future version of 15 going back in time to attempt to get him to regenerate back into himself, he concluded. It, it's, hopped the, it's hoped that the previous Doctor will be in 15's finale episode, but nothing is confirmed as actors will have different schedules. Oh, that's right, because they have the whole, like, uh, by generation and all the other past Doctors and everything like that uh, ha are regenerated now, too. They actually went back in time and by generated so we can have this whole thing to have the Doctorverse, which is actually canonical. That is actually from RTD's mouth himself. So you got all that going on, okay? Let, let me be fair, okay? This is a rumor. This isn't news. This isn't confirmed. This is nothing uh, like definitive that this might happen. The problem is I could see it happening. I could see this being the reality moving forward. There's no sign of this actually not being a, a factual thing. Uh, the only thing that kind of sticks out to me of saying that it might not be real is uh, Disney seeing this being controversial. Disney doesn't see anything being controversial anymore. Disney's willing to go full throttle with everything. So I don't, I, I don't see that being a reality. But let's say that this is real. It's not a good move. It's actually a very hate, uh, heinous move. And also in, in regards to all these leftist uh, propaganda and leftist uh, policies, it doesn't send a good message. It says that, hey, you need to be worried about gay people because they're going to come around and steal your straight boyfriend. That's what that says. And what else are you supposed to take away from that? Oh, your boyfriend's going to go gay. Good for you. And the gay guy's going to steal your boyfriend. Good for you. Wow, that's a wonderful message to send out into the world. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get you guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now. What's going on, guys? Listen, it's Christmas season coming up. And you know what makes great gifts? That's right, Coffee Brand Coffee. Coffee Brand Coffee makes wonderful gifts. And guess what? They don't just have great coffees, teas, and cocos. They also got gear. They got K-Cups. And also, they got wonderful gift boxes. Gift boxes that include all sorts of wonderful, great goodies. You got chocolate-covered coffee beans, raspberry yogurt pretzel twists, sea salt milk chocolates, caramel. You got chocolate-covered coffee beans, peppermint hot cocoa, spicy and sweet treat mixes, kettle corn pop, premium vacuum travel tumblers, and all sorts of wonderful great stuff that you can get at Coffee Brand Coffee. And these make great Christmas gifts. So guys, please check out coffeebrandcoffee.com and use promo code BACKTACO at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. That's coffeebrandcoffee.com, promo code BACKTACO.